Bourbon the boys we now have issue 14 of fan homes build the infinity gauntlet now in this one <laughs> we are continuing the thumb kind of um so if you haven't yet please remember to like and subscribe uh get yourself nice and comfy for this one uh, yeah, it, the, it's going to be a long one it's going to be a long one Pre prepare yourself prepare yourself brace yourself and go so this is everything we get in stage 14 and what we're going to do is going to take this one out of here. And we're going to take this one out of here. And that is all there is to do with <laughs> stage 14. Wow. Let's have a chat. Whew, so that's issue 14 complete. I mean, I, it took me out. It took a lot out of me that one. It really did. Look, the reality of it is with this gauntlet, when it we get... It took hours. It did. Um, it's all pieces we need. It's a bit weird when they do this, when they give you issues where you don't build anything, you just get the bits. But there's more of those to come in this one. There just is. So come to peace with it because that's what's going to happen. There are other parts where that is the case where it's just you've received the parts. That's it. Yeah. It is what it is, you know. I mean, what can Not I say? Fulfilling. Yeah. If you're just sticking around for the build instructions. <laughs> Open box take out. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. But if you are sticking around for our Marvel talk, we are back with the heroes. So we are counting down our 50 villains, our 50 heroes. Uh, in the last one, we did our 44th villain. In this one, we're doing our 44th hero. Was it 44th or 45th villain? I don't know. But in this one, we're doing our 44th hero. And it is this one. The Black Panther, T'Challa. Yeah. Um, I love Black Panther. I've always liked Black Panther um, in the comics. Um, he, had a, he had a cape and a cowl. He did. Not a cowl. Um, um, the little Doctor Strange. Now, the thing. one thing I will give them, without, with the exception of some very major liberties, um, they have stuck fairly true to the origins of the character in the movies. Um, the big thing that is not in the, uh, the movies that definitely was in the comics was um, marriage his, his to marriage Storm. to Storm of the X-Men. And they were quite the power couple, literally. Um, and royalty. it was it was a big deal. They were royalty. So they had the royal wedding and it was Storm and Black Panther. And um, it's a great character. It's a really good character. It's evolved one. It's got a lot of depth to it. Naturally, the movie blew it to another level because it's a character that a lot of people weren't familiar with. It wasn't a mainstream character by any means. Um, but if you've been reading Marvel Comics, you know Black Panther because he's been every iteration of the Avengers you can think of, from Ultimate Avengers to regular Avengers to his own books, appeared in X-Men, as I said, with Storm. Um, and they have Wedding of the Century, so the, the spin-off was called Wedding of the Century, and it was, it was a hell of a book. Um, it's sad what happened in the MCU. Um, it just is. Uh, it, it's, um, it's heartbreaking. I don't know how I feel about them not recasting him, because I found that an unusual yeah, move. Yeah, they, they they've recast, like, everyone else. Well, they have I recast get, everyone I else. I might not be respectful, I, but they recast, the, they recast Thanos, they recast um, bloody War Machine. War Machine, they, they recast, recast Agent Ross. Yeah. So it's, I mean, it's sad what happened to Chaswick Boseman, it really is sad, but, I mean, I, I think it's left them with a bit of a conundrum as to what they're going to do with the character now. Yeah, well, I mean... To be honest, I think Shuri being the Black Panther. It doesn't I, work for I me. I get it's for... following the comics, but to be honest, Manape should have been. Yeah, I agree. Manape should have been um, the the new Black Panther. Um, but it's it, it's how it they've chose what they've chose, and it, it is what it is. I wasn't a fan of Wakanda Forever. It was all right. I, it wasn't bad by any means, but it was. I it don't was know. Like... It's a Black Panther movie. That Black Panther in it. That's that's my that's my issue with it. Sherry becomes Black Panther like the end of the film. Yeah. Like, Where's this? I don't mind. See, I'm at peace with that as long as it was just for that movie. If we're going to look at something else, if we're going to have a new Black Panther, let Sherry be Sherry. Let's have a new Black Panther. Now it looks like they're going to do a thing with his son. Yes. Now, when you start throwing in time loops and things like that, there's no reason that son off. can't suddenly become twenty years older than he was. To be honest. Um, with Black Panther's son and all that, um, I 
get what it's Black Panther's girlfriend, or ex girlfriends, or widowed girlfriend, whatever it's called, son as well. Mm. But I would have had it as uh, Shuri going to Storm. my nephew, and Storm would be there with the child. I agree. But, I mean, here's another way of looking at it. For all we know, the wedding of the century could happen. If they do do that and they suddenly age uh, to Charlie Jr., maybe he marries Storm. Mind blown. Mind blown. So maybe, I I'd, I'd never thought of that. Maybe that's how they're going to bring this about. Maybe. I mean, oh. we got to look at it with, with Loki at the moment with time slips where, th where people are aged and whatnot. And when you throw um, Kang into the mix, uh, time moves very differently. So there is no reason why, um, like the blip, suddenly young T'Challa could be 19, 20 years old. That could happen. Um, yeah. And then we could have... T'Challa as the new Black Panther, son of original T'Challa, Marion Storm. Wouldn't that be a thing? That would be. That would be a thing. Yeah. Who knows? Wait, but, that would make Storm Shuri's niece in law. Yeah, it would. <sighs> Mind blown. The Black Panther's a great character, it really is, and well deserving to be on our list. And, um,. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. It'll be interesting to see what they do with the movies. Um, who knows? I would assume a Black Panther 3 is almost a definite, but yeah. I think we're a ways off that. I think that's going to rest for a while and then we're going to get Black Panther 3, but we'll see what happens with it because I don't know what direction the MCU is going at the moment. It's a bit of a mess. Oh, where did Phase 4 leave us? No idea. I mean, it's like, New character, new character, new character, new character. Do we need this many characters? No. But that's a discussion for another day. That's all for this one. If you're sticking around, if you're just sticking around for building instructions, thanks. Um, but thank you for stopping by. Uh, thank you for listening to us ramble about Marvel characters once again. We'll be back very soon with issue 15 of Build the Infinity Gauntlet in a world where you can be anything at all. Just be... Nice. And we will see you very, very soon for more Fan Hunts Blood the Infinity Gauntlet. Thanks for stopping by.